Good morning and Shubhadin, Assalamu Alaikum, everybody. I have a very interesting topic today. Are ISIS and Gau Raksha Dal, are they against humanity? So many of you might say we are talking about ISIS, which is totally an international network and Gau Raksha Dal is something which is national level. And uh, why is that connecting to it? Because both of them have different agenda. So that's what m many of you might think. But having that notion, I would want this topic to be debated over because there is something in similar to both of them. What is that? Both of them have some noble agenda in front of their circles or people who believe their concepts. But at the same time, the ways of achieving their goals are unethical. When violence is being used against any individual in an inhuman manner, while not sticking to the law of the land or to the international laws, and that is detested in all the cultures. And now that is what we are trying to explore when we talk about ISIS or GRD, Gaurakshadal. People may say the ends are something noble, but the ends do not justify the means. I mean, the, you know, you cannot just justify just by doing anything and say like, I'm doing a noble cause. So now we are trying to explore on both the issues. Are ISIS and Gaurakshadal, are they against humanity? Now we have uh, two wonderful distinguished personalities with us in the studio. We have Mr. Amrutesh, who is the High Court Advocate. And we have Mr. Nagaraj Yadav, who is a co uh, Congress spokesperson. So we're going to debate over this issue. Without much ado, let me just take the subject direct to Mr. Amrutesh. Yes. So do you find uh, similarities between ISIS and Gaurakshadal in matters of <coughs> violating the process of law? I'm not talking about the goal or the cause. The cause may seem reasonable, but in violation of the law, hmm. wherein yes. they take law in their hands and they don't mind, you know, executing people in public and video recording and airing it in front of the social media and elsewhere, wherein creating a sense of hatred and creating a sense of, you know, detest towards one community. So what is your thought over this? The topic subject itself is a one type of uh, controversial. I know it is very uh, at the time of the starting itself you have introduced that. ISIS is, is entirely different from the GRD. Gorakshadal is only confined to India only. This ISIS is international level. And you know that the Gorakshadal it is not against the humanity. It is only against the humanity when it comes only, I can say in the ground reality, when some persons are taking the cows for the cow slaughter, this Goraksha Dal will uh, stop the vehicle and uh, it may happen the, with the tussle, they may beat the uh, driver. That is, uh, you are taking that is against the humanity. No, entirely different. You take the ISI. ISI is, is international organization and their main motive is that what you have said is the whole world should become as the Islamic. And also another thing is this ISIS is banned by the United Nations and UK and so many other countries also. And barbaric method they are using. Uh, what you said in the they are putting in the social media right what the, the the other person should do be terrorized right all these things are entirely different this is for the hindutva and whatever the indian system the they wanted to safeguard the this cows of the indian system therefore international level the isis what working is going on it is now banned yeah most probably in uh, India, America, whatever these all countries were there. Yeah. Those are the countries are banned. And also they are making only bombarding the, the high, high tech uh, uh, munitions they are using. Right. All these things. Yeah. You cannot compare it with this uh, Gorakshadal. Okay. Gorakshadal is only a simple thing. Yes, we want to save the cows. Okay, so this I, as I rightly put across in the initial opening of my talk, yes. I said the cause is not something which is debated over. I'm talking about taking law in the hand, wherein you have probably seen it in the social media, where they have publicly lynched couple of people. Like if you happen to see, Akhlaq was killed in Dadi and 
subsequently we found one person called ayub been killed many of the people were you know they were uh, put on the streets and made to drink the cow's urine and eat the cow dung and all these kind of humiliation has gone through to a citizen of india sir yes, yes now what yes. i'm trying to say is does law permit the gau raksha dal to act in this manner are they given the powers to act as policemen and even for the policemen they cannot do all of these things to anybody because the process of law does not permit them that yes. is my yes. my point yes. 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 in exactly. that aspect are they doing something human or inhuman see here uh, how now your question and also the main idea is by highlighting this one you uh, do you want to mean that isi is very good No. ISIS is bad. No, no. You are, We are yes, declaring. Simple. Let us declare. ISIS ah, is that's bad. One to, that's why you come to is, the conclusion. No, ISIS, ah, ISIS is anti-human, sir. Ah, exactly. Right now we you say. Declare it. ISIS is anti-human. That's what we want. ISIS is anti-Islam. ISIS is anti all the cultures. Yes. Now okay. that you will say. Okay. <laughs> now, no now, now you come to the point of this whether this type of the. Uh, well, um, we are coming to the yes, next aspect. Yes. 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 What they have done? No? The yeah. karyakartas who are the uh, sadhakas who, who are doing done all these things. Yeah. It's all happened in the rarest in rare case. Rarest in rare case. I can point out if it is happened. It will take the law and take it into the uh, its own course. Okay. That's you, only so, the thing. So we we That's take your that. point from there. Um, the uh, distinguished person he has said it is of the rarest of rarest case. So we should not make it as a norm. So now we ask you, sir. So what do you have to say about these two? Do you find there are some similarities in a way that they are violating the law of the land or the international norms? Do you feel that there is some sort of inhuman activity happening in both? See, as you introduced the entire concept of this program, you are very clear with which to say the purposes are they have an intention that different, the way of implementing their things are different, which is in time in fact creating uh, inhuman uh, activities in the world. Correct. So here the main objection comes in one point. I agree with him is these two subjects are two different subjects. Different subjects. We cannot discuss these two things together. This cause this go rakshak matter is a political matter in compared to ka in India. Okay. It is nothing but they may say it is for a majority of the people are Hindus. They have a sentiment. It may be sentiment. It may be politics. It may be internal matter of India. But IS 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 not the internal matter of any one country. Right. It is the whole world is concerned about it because it has got the color of terrorism. Right. The terrorism of any form, of any kind, anywhere. and war crimes of any form using chemical weapons against humanity is not acceptable to humanity absolutely i'm not only talking as a congressman i'm not talking as an indian i'm talking as a child of a god which i believe whichever god i believe it's my right to believe whichever god you believe is your right to right. the form of a god is different but we are all children of god we have nobody has got a right to kill me or people like me right nobody has got this world god has given life to every individual with a purpose that purpose should be understood by human being not uh, just glorifying my community glorifying my religion glorifying my this thing making unpleasant to others it, no religion preaches this whether it's hinduism whether it is islam whether it is jainism nobody preaches it saying that to hate somebody else this is what is strongly understood by people i only say that the world should live more than secularism world should live with full of love and humanity which is not happening which is alarming to the uh, purpose of what god has sent us for this should be seriously thought now coming to the point of is 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 the pattern why we are seriously taking it in india also because we are talking to a social media in india and it may even other parts of the world also may be looking at it because india is supposed to be the one country beyond caste and religion i will tell you the whole world is looking towards india because people like mahatma gandhi have lived here and given the message of peace to the world today the world is required is more than the development is peace that is what every Very religion true. says Very true. we have to be human we have to be kind and we have to be peaceful it is not that Uh, at troubling somebody imposing somebody on somebody imposing my thoughts on somebody and getting uh, a pleasure out of it 
is not a humanism which india stands for is a secularism with full of humanity which the world is looking forward not only to become a super power in uh, having more nuclear powers or having more computer software engineers but the world is looking towards india to have as a leader of peace in the world that's why we are discussing about i i feel that's right. why we are discussing about True. isis and all that isis is today banned in so many countries uh, so many issues happen they are not only killing in the name of uh, islam because as a hindu i also read few things about islam islam never preaches hatred at all islam or hinduism or any religion whatever little i have learned never never preached hatred towards anybody never spoken anything against humanity never spoken about anything against any life including an animal also it is not spoken that you have to be inhuman to oh, that animal yes. such a, such is the religion which is given if you understand islam well you will love everybody you understand hinduism well you should love everybody and live with everybody True. these are the things are somewhere people are misleading misleading and trying to have a conservative way of thinking and trying to make it an egoistic say that my religion is big my language is big i am big i am supreme over everyone this should go this go rakshak matter also when it comes this i feel it's purely i may not agree or agree i don't know which party belongs to but the go rakshak also has got a political agenda behind it i feel because that is a becoming a indian politics is almost becoming uh, either based on the caste or based on the sentiments of uh, people or based on religious these are the very very dangerous points because these are the sentiments of people are so personal religious is personal community is personal language is the state federal system is there everybody should respect all the languages with the priority to that state language. everything is becoming so sentimental uh, and uh, they are trying to gain votes out of it which is not a good agenda for any political party especially now we are talking about gorakshir bhai a particular party which is in power today explains uh, cow slaughtering uh, issue on the completion of th- three years of uh, their uh, office in pa- their in office for three years people of this country were expecting that uh, for uh, example mr modi saab being the prime minister whichever party i belong to has a prime minister i should respect him with a due respect to him i tell you he came with a big agenda for the youngsters of this country saying that he is going to do something marvelous where congress didn't do it by creating jobs to them he said something different which will be done because they are supposed to be the most disciplined they claim to be such a different party with discipline and i didn't understand after completion of 3 years as a congressman as a citizen of the country i was also looking at the tv and waiting what will he announce now when the going when is going for a fourth year thinking that because you had promised uh, uh, around 2 crore jobs every year mm-hmm. that means you should have given the 6 crore jobs to this country but now the statistics of the government itself is the document with me 175000 jobs only were created the it sector the jobs are reducing today people are sent away from america to back to india their jobs are been getting away from saudi people are coming back from dubai people are coming back all over the world people are coming back as jobs have been reduced everywhere they coming here here also jobs are reduced and it's becoming so unpleasant thing then what happens people people join activities like this to make their lively bread also livelihood also these are the things a very very dangerous point of it mr modi what has happened is that to just to deviate the attention of people's questioning for 3 years what you have done he has put this agenda in front of people on the, that particular day. if you have done some other day about this go rakshi it is different issue completion of 3 years and this agenda comes in the matter the people have forgotten to talk about what supposed to be asked to you, mr modi's government right. people have started discussing about this you are also been a victim of that you are discussing about go rakshi <laughs> which is not required <laughs> you could have discussed about the development of the country yeah but we are See, discussing I, about this why the attention is so well deviated so much and i completely agree with mr modi this up the way he markets nobody can market it compliments for him okay, this sir. one he markets it so well so this is where the country is going coming back to the gorakshak uh, uh, issues but i should not uh, say uh, we, we, because i am also being an yadav uh, we also pray for god i have right to pray for what i want i have uh, sentiments for what I have i cannot impose on him or you what you are eating what you are dressing uh, how you should live what you should pray this is not my job so that is not constitution that is not humanity at all yeah see sometimes laws are made we should be beyond law for what purpose god has given you a life for you to achieve something in a right way and you be 
no hindrance to others in the society yeah live and let live should live be the principle and let live, live and, and you have live. to be like a brother to everybody in this world True. and see that the world is peaceful you come with a purpose to make this life and the world as a peaceful world you are not god has not sent you to create uh, inhuman things to create uh, unlawful things to do illegal things to do uh, unwarranted things that is not the purpose god has sent person should understand for what purpose is come all the religions all the things whatever is that all a man made but the life is not man made it is given by god you call it as allah i call it as my god that is a different story Excellent, sir, but everything god. given by god Excellent. let us understand that man is born in this world to keep this world peaceful man has got no right to destroy this world today isis is destroying the world in the name of religion which should be condemned by absolutely, everybody immaterial whether i am hindu or a muslim yes, yes, yes. humanity comes first very true peace comes the first absolutely human life comes first respect the women in this country first we cannot we cannot treat everybody like animals we cannot treat everybody like thieves we cannot treat everybody as bad but everybody has got good because everybody is everybody is born from the god's hand with god's blessings as a human being nobody in this world has got yeah. a blue blood everybody has got only red blood let us not have differences the gorakshas i only pray to gorakshas your sentiments keep it for the level of politics don't go to the extent of taking law into the hand yes, yes yes if there is a law if somebody is not practicing if there is illegal slaughterers you give a complaint as apply a lawyer agrees with it rti is there you apply it if an illegal this thing is go to the extent now also lawyer was talking about some issue which has happened there is a courts are available yes, today yes. even people like great leaders like adwani has <coughs> been made stand like a criminal in the court you should understand very well the law is not no. dead but law has been taken by hand with the ignorance yeah. people have been mad. leaders are misleading the youngsters of this country including the isis is also Absolutely. misleading the youngsters today Absolutely. because by saying that you have to do this you you kill you do this much you do this much you, i want to convert the whole world islam yeah. you want to convert the whole world of islam first you understand islam islam says you love people you love people and conquer the world with love not Very with the not with the weapons not with the medical uh, uh, equipment not with the chemical equipment yeah. you conquer the world i don't say with the name of love Absolutely. not with the name of conversion not with the name of hatred not that is not only for isis it it applies to any religion for that matter Very true. if you feel that this country has to become a hindu country you win the people of the muslim with the heart with yeah. the love with the care with the passion to them yeah. saying that you are my brother then people automatically also, people want to tell you people today if somebody mind. calls me and tell me why don't you join for namaz i don't mind joining for namaz if somebody calls me and tell me to come and why don't you celebrate for a um, prayer in my house why not as long as we have that intention of acceptance with us yeah. and for purpose what you are born for then the purpose not here the problem what has happened the great issue what has happened in both the cases yes. is one similarity is there they are misleading the youngsters who are below 18 Absolutely. years 20 years they have been misled because the sentimental issues is more than uh, dangerous than this drugs uh, drugs see how drugs are so addicted uh, when they get addicted they can't come out this uh, this religion and uh, the sentimental issues when it becomes very dear to so the religion is opium very very very, very fast it attracts the youngsters and it deviates into the uh, different direction and it the youngsters are forgetting for what purpose the parents are given life to them so i only appeal to the is 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 you do anything but don't destroy humanity true don't go against if you are really islamic please understand islam what it is islam or or hinduism or any religion in this world of any part including christianity nobody preached hatred to anybody you have something try to share it to the person who is below you share it to the person who is below you who is a poor person you be nice to him excellent sir so now we got i feel the... isis and this thing should not be compared together yeah. because they have got a color of terrorism these people have got a color of politi- politicalism politicalism is different than terrorism yes. is different Enter. let us not club it together okay. but one thing in this panel uh, i appreciate for you all that you all have taken a subject and said that any form of illegal activities any form of hatred will create an unpleasant thing in the society which is going to be a human which is not good for any human being in any part of the world because we are all god's children excellent sir very well put what i want to draw here to the attention is that isis is not the spokesperson for the entire muslim population okay. and similarly gauraksha dal is also not the spokesperson for the entire hindu community yes because we know a lot of hindu brothers 
who don't react in a way that the Gauraksha Dal is reacting. I am a witness. You are a witness. You are all says that. <laughs> See, you might have a thought and your ideology to say that you know cows have to be protected. Yes. In fact, if you look into the history, Akbar himself, say about 500 years ago, he himself had stopped the slaughtering of cows yes. because to keep up the sentiments of the people around. People. Him. So even uh, Babur in his Babur Nama, he has said, "Look, you are ruling, oh Humayun, you are ruling a country where the majority are Hindus. Don't hurt their sentiments and don't slaughter the cow." This was the advice given by Babur. So now what? What we are trying to say is, this is not something new to us, sir. No, that is what I am trying to say. No, no, that, that is where this. No, if we that is where the Gorakshas are telling. Yeah. It is not our agenda. It has come from history. There I can't. There I want to tell you. In, no, there I want to tell you. Doctor B R Ambedkar, when he was when he was uh, forming the uh, draft rules for a constitution, a lot of people, Hindu activists, also went and approached him and say, at the 500 years back itself, this was been discussing the Hindu majority country. is should be in the sentiment should be respected yes, and they exactly. should be brought in the constitution itself banning the cow slaughter and all that that time the nehru was the prime minister and uh, b r ambedkar saab what he thought was this is that this country is not having only hindus it's got a section of people except especially in northeast and dalit and uh, the uh, minority i am coming to yeah. the point though these people also living in a lesser percentage right. they may be only in 15 all put together only 15% and the hindus are 85% but the sec the constitution should protect the every citizen every in this city. country means, the, the constitution should mean something for everybody it should not mean for section of society so what he did that matter in article 48 because he is a, uh, extremely <laughs> practicing good advocate <laughs> let me let me see i only completed law but i am not uh, practicing so he he should tell me if i'm wrong so article 48 very clearly states very well uh, in that uh, directive uh, principles, directive principles, principles and also coming to uh, giving powers in the article 48 for states to set up their own uh, uh, l- rules and regulations on these sentimental issues so state because law. depends on the state's position at that particular period of time Protection. because for example in northeast early morning they have uh, k- uh, beef as a morning breakfast also and they are they, also they, not they, muslims they, for they that are, matter i am not muslim and, and so muslim. many dalits also eat uh, christians also have so many hindus eat also not only that uh, dalits or somebody so many hindus eat so many brahmins also eat i don't say everybody eat that is very yeah, clear yeah, even goa even one person they have rule but the constitution of india is very clear that is why i am saying india is supposed to be super power in the humanity because our constitution speaks saying that you live and let live without hating anybody in this world is a spirit of constitution that is how the karnataka 1964 uh, act of uh, cow slaughter uh, act what has been bought by the Karnataka government is very clearly says that any cow above uh, 12 years of age, which is becoming a burden to the farmer, which he cannot take care of it because it starts falling sick or it doesn't uh, give milk or doesn't not useful for uh, farming purposes, then what am I to do with it? Because today the entire climate change also is a big matter in this because the farmers environmental like, environmental changes, the climate change in the entire world is different today. What was Bangalore earlier? Bangalore is to be a pensioners' paradise. Today it's become heat is more. Almost forty degrees, so thirty-eight degrees today. That no rains. The farmer is becoming poor and poor and poor every day. This country is becoming. The farmer is committing suicide every day. Thousands of people are committing suicide. At least thirty-five people across the country are committing suicide every day. So having this in mind, thousands of people dying. Now the farmer is dying for what? One side rain is not there. One side is becoming a burden. That is why, if it is about twelve years of the age, if he wills to give give it up to a slaughterhouse with his permission, it is given, provided certification is done on that. This And that is, is not applicable to the buffaloes. No, buffaloes there, there is a, there is a clause in that. All those things are there. There is a clause. There is a clear clause. There is a clear clause. There are penalties are there. There what kind of cow to be given? Why calf should not be given? Why milking cow should not be given? There are so many thoughts. So, right? My question again to this. I'll come back to this. To the people who are getting so violent on, on this. They are not aware. They are not aware of this. This is what I'm trying to tell you. These See, are the channels. See, how uh, yesterday also I have discussed in some places on Bitrgarh to Gorakshar. No, I'll completely drop. Same exactly. Then you can continue. Yeah. See what I'm saying. See there is a response. 
responsible people here sitting and we are all discussing see our minds are very clear that the age people below age of 30 years or 35 years people Gangsters. are not understanding for what purpose these laws are made these laws are made for a purpose for farmer to get survived the youth should understand the wide reason now that is not only become a, a food habit for uh, minorities or dalit or uh, uh, north east states can i tell you Lacks of lacks of youngsters are working or people with 30 years, 40 years service in a cow industry. They're working in a, in the slaughterhouses. Yes. What happened to the jobs? Who has thought about it? Before bringing such laws, you think about what is the rehabilitation. Yeah. If there is illegal slaughterhouse, it make it make it mandatory in the entire country. They cannot have not only illegal uh, slaughterhouses. You cannot have illegal even uh, chicken or mutton shops because that they are not hygienic. Because they, when it's illegal, there is a point exactly. of saying that you are supposed to maintain some standards to run a medical, uh, to uh, run a mutton shop or to run a chicken poultry shop. You need to have some license because you have to start to follow certain rules because it has to be hygienic. So what I'm saying is any illegal activities, not only in close order, any illegal industry, any pharmaceutical industry, any any uh, meat industry, if it's illegal, please stop it. Absolutely. Belongs to yes. anybody. So now, but the problem arises here. Yeah. You allow these things to run in the name of sentiment. Then uh, other group comes and says that these are all illegal. So these are all illegal uh, uh, transporting from here to there. So that guy comes in. Uh, the, the law enforcing authorities, the police also should know, understand in his due destruction, if he stops all the illegal activities, dare anybody will bring an illegal cow into the uh, slaughtering house without a permission. Right. So this is where the law is misinterpreted, law is misused. Some people take law into their hands. All this has created human yeah. things in Karnataka and in India, mm. which is unwarranted. But ultimately, I'll tell you only one word. The Indians are born uh, with the spirit of love and peace to this country. And they should be the role models and superpower in communicating peace to the world. Excellent, sir. So, uh, Mr. Amrutesh, I want to understand. See, law and order, if it is in place, we can curb all of these nuisance. Exactly. See, if people are exactly. actually taking law in their hands, what are the policemen doing? What are the people who are supposed to be the caretakers of the society doing? Irrespective of who is the one committing the crime, be it ISIS or be it GRD or be it any political party for that matter, yes. or be it any human without any label. What I'm trying to say, if anybody is committing a crime and if somebody is sympathizing over that crime, and saying that there is a noble cause over this and whatever is being done, we can neglect, we can ignore it for a while. Is this the right approach to it? Or what do we as, you know, well-meaning citizens of this country have to do in these kind of situations? What are we supposed to do? Because what happens if a particular community is being targeted on the pretext of cow eating and then they become insecure and they don't have faith in the law of the land? then they will be the ones who would be prone to yes. join all of these networks, yes, yes. which we are worried of. From the community of the Muslim community, what I am really worried of is when a group of people are being oppressed or they have been persecuted in their own lands. And that point in time when they don't have security by the law of the land, the, by the caretakers, by the people who are the authorities wearing the khakis, if they are just going to be silent spectators, what will happen is they, when they lose faith in the law of the land, then they will become the ones who will join these ISAs and all these people who are marketing through the social media, sir. Yes, yes. yes. What I'm trying to say, we as people who believe that we belong to, to this country, we love this country and we don't want to be questioned also whether we love this country because that is immaterial. <laughs> you know, people are... It, country belongs to everybody. Everybody. Yeah. So, so you we, can claim we, it we want mind. to be truthful and faithful to this country. But what is happening is... People are making use of the emotions of the common man and they are trying to make use and, you know, pull them into their agenda. So what do you have to say as law abiding citizens of this country? What do we have to do to educate the GRD? We're not saying anything, sir. ISAS is banned. We don't want them in our country. 100%. Yes. Let's finish it up. Now, what about the GRD? How are we going to deal with them? You say that they are not inhum inhuman. You say that it's the rarest of rarest cases. Yes. yes. Now, now, I want to know. How do we deal with the rarest of rarest cases in the future? See, one thing we can, I can uh, assure you, this GRD is not against the humanity. First, second one thing is that this is a, some incidents which are all taken place is only the rarest rare case. Why I'm telling is, you are telling about the, if the police persons has taken the care, everything, 
if i have seen some vehicle is moving with some uh, cows it is as he uh, my friend has said below that uh, year of uh, fixed year if we know it is uh, exactly it is going for the uh, slaughterhouse immediately i will inform that police station police station authorities what they will do yes i am coming you don't worry it is our job <laughs> here this is how the crux of the matter is there and also legal position is very simple and also very actively we can do it now we are doing that uh, we are giving the legal uh, status how it is uh, it has to be worked if you go out for the legally everything there is a cattle transportation act is there if you want to transport one way uh, cattle one or two to one to five way uh, cattle there should be a specific place you have to market it and in the icer vehicle or in the van only two or three cows you have to okay fodder should be there water should be there one attendant should be there and from all these one veterinary doctor has to certify it okay you just see the horse vans are there am horse are going in the for race purpose in that horse van only one or two horses are there very carefully they will take because the people will put the uh, finance on that one therefore wait is very carefully but not on this cows cars you see because i myself i have seen in the kolkata in a small icer vehicle 72 cows are uh, loaded yeah that is in the first stage second stage third stage my my own eyes i have i have stopped the vehicle there and taken to the one police station where the sub, sub inspector has said sir if i take out all the vehicle, uh, the animals outside i cannot uh, reload it you know the thing then it is seized and there it we have gone to the one goshala where the five cows are already gone yeah they have gone dead therefore taking into the actual wherever it is if, if it is in west bengal if it is in karnataka if it is in kerala it's entirely different uh, cow slaughter act is there okay in karnataka itself i now I, we are giving the teachings to the all our goraksha peoples don't beat the uh, driver correct don't do the, all these things you take a photograph mm. you take the uh, ask the police station and give the complaint and then we will proceed one or two cases sir that vehicle if he has got the one veterinary doctor certificate we will pull that veterinary doctor how you have given the certificate without going to certify that one it is above the age of 16 years it is a small uh, cough it yeah. is after the age of 6 or 7 years one veterinary doctor if he is uh, banned from or his uh, certificate is uh, practice is gone the all the veterinary doctors will come to know oh now it is you know i can make a one beautiful example uh, in karnataka i think day before yesterday one uh, pakistan has given the aadhar card <laughs> because that doctor has certified it some documents he has attested then the question comes how you attested this is whether you have seen the original document no doctor has not seen now that doctor is suspended and criminal case is hosted Legally. this is how legally we have to we fight have to. it is uh, 100% what you have said is correct but the there is a, another lobby is working this is a corruption it is a beautiful corruption mm-hmm. from one police station to another police station even this vehicle is moving everywhere they will give the hafta even from the sub inspector to the uh, lower cadre also mm-hmm. if you attack some uh, vehicle and we show it sir this is a vehicle having a load of the 20 uh, cows kindly register we know it go this is a, how this police authorities are doing therefore this uh, goraksha dal has came into existence so that means the um, when the people uh, who are supposed to do their duties they have failed then the common man has taken the Yes, the position because, of that. Because is that see, what we are trying to understand? Yes, yes, exactly. I can say. So, tell you. so if I go by that, if yes, I go by that, yes. if I go by that, when a person, when a person from one community, he's been 
killed in the public no, by one group of people is why and when the police is actually being uh, spectators there can they also go and fight them no no because no, no. That, the is law entirely the, the different. Who, no no this scene is, is entirely different so what i am trying to say ah, is yes yes i know it irrespective of what it is yes, common exactly. man cannot take law in his hand sir I, that is what is i am trying to say this scene is entirely so, different this yes, scene is it's entirely not different common man nobody in this world can take law into law into their hands we have Put already that told so that is first but what happened here common man means poor man yeah, yeah. a uh, gentleman means a uh, good man be rich man so <laughs> i can take law into it yeah. i don't agree with that <laughs> every no, 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 no. every man i don't want to say that yeah. no human being at least in india yeah should take the law into their hands they should never yes. and second thing i'll tell you he was saying that uh, uh, the police is not doing this thing and all for that they should not form another uh, what do you call uh, a rakshak go rakshak dal which is not a constitutional entity to organize these things if the law is not in place a responsible political parties see my party is there we are ready to accept any complaint given by a so called go rakshak is saying that this clutter house is getting all illegal cows this is the transporter this is the thing we are ready to file a case against it right we have to enlighten it today the media is so strong yes. no it policeman is going doesn't on. do no, work no it is gone policeman doesn't do work if it yes. talks like that you record it and put it on one channel immediately uh, yes, it yes, can be done it is what it is what no it is not it is. that not it possible all just instead of taking law into the hands yes create an awareness yes, yes. saying that true. this particular section of uh, area there the law is not in uh, been enforced correctly so this is what is information it may be in social media it may be in this thing or with the home minister or the chief minister or the prime minister there so many avenues to do it you may fail in 10 cases 11th case will be successful have some patience, patience. because this country has got every day so many problems not only cow there is so many issues people have got no food for them to eat we are talking about cow yes i pray for cow i do puja for cow every day i am an yadav for me it is sentiments for me for a person as a has a real hindu i should have a concern for a person who is next door of mine who doesn't have a second meal that is called humanity for that religion bar should not come let us create an atmosphere with at least god has given us we are lucky god has made us little educative god has given us nice eyes hands legs everybody there are so many people without hands without legs with heart problem with stomach problem with brain problem so many things are been given let us think about them what we are what we are no no this is let the us do all these things if the law is not in place the food habit is the, only the cow is sir, only the food habit No, no, we can have anything. We have alternative for many alternatives. We are ready. But we can't tell. We are ready. No, no, no. no. Here the point comes. Uh, here we are ready for that. No, here, here, no, no, here, here. No, no. no, no, no. no, no. Here the community. See, no, no. I agree. Muslim community. See, see, see. I can, I can explain you one uh, beautiful example. How these MNCs are came, uh, came into India? How MNCs are marketing something? You know, just Kellogg's. Mm-hmm. Kellogg's is a uh, one morning tiffin. for south india they yeah. have they have made so much of money for advertisement yeah. they have can't change the south indian morning tiffin style they have failed in that one because we wanted uh, idli vada dosa this one one more thing, thing i want to i will give you no no kelas ke bare mein hame bolna hai okay kelas ke saath saath main bolta hu today india is exporting beef the largest exporter in the world wait how wait a little bit let let the bjp government ek minute not no it's not today it is not today happened but even today no 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 the best even today no best secret of it whenever they are doing it who are the best exporters is the question they are not muslims absolutely they are different they are vegetarians yes, let yes. me not name the country yeah, yeah. but their companies are named after muslim names yes, because sir. they are exporting to muslim countries all these things are See, these are all business tactics it is the thing but what i can uh, interrupt <laughs> even though it is a hindu school they will uh, put the convent of the saint antony's convent something like that like that. let me tell you <laughs> yeah, the big so exporters <laughs> are so why don't no, you no, stop me tell you export? yes, Sir, yes the, that is what the one thing is you should do that See, no, no, they, no, they cannot stop they cannot stop because the people who are running this export units are the big supporters of the person who is in the role no 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 you Let can you, you can say directly M- i'm not saying mp of the bjp is the uh, md of the uh, i <laughs> can me, say directly i'm not politicizing this issue no, no, no. so see you have to understand he is the no, one who no, is no, one who has you understand, you understand my diplomacy what do we have to say no no that is why sir one thing you understand questioning the my decency my first you ban it our export my my decency i agree what do you ban the export my decency of telling 
because I don't want to make this as a politically connoted absolutely, discussion. Absolutely. Because I have no prejudiced mind on anybody. Right. If if the Congress government is doing good job, I'll ask. If the government government not doing it, I will go. I may not do it in the public, but I'll go and tell my chief minister, sir, this is not correct. But if the prime minister of the country, as a citizen of India, I if he does good job, I'll give compliments to him. If he doesn't think about this thing, the persons who belong to his party are only exporters. Instead of stopping the export, instead of stopping the when the export stops, why will the cow slaughter happens? True. Sir, slowly, slowly you can exactly do it. Exactly what then comes, to, then comes to the issue in in Udupi. One dead cow has been carried uh, by gone by a Dalit. How they bit him? Dead cow was carried. Even if it is not removed, if it is not removed in front of yours, the cow dies. If it is not removed, what you will do? Ten times you will call corporation. Corporation doesn't come and remove. At least that fellow has done a good job by removing it. Very Instead true. of appreciating him, they went and hit him. Yes. Which is not correct. No, no, no. One so, thing, one which is not correct. No. There, there, I am telling you, there is a problem. What we are against. No, no yes, this exactly. is where the issue comes. There if is a problem. You, if you give the hand to me, I am ready. He, as a congressman, I don't want to. No, I want to mm. make it very clear. As I am not a belongs to any party, I am not a preliminary member of any party. Okay. Now it is a BJP government. Yes, your MP is one of the managing director, whatever, the director of this company. Correct. You are giving so much of advertisement, give it up. That subsidy, whatever, this uh, cylinder, all those things. Mm. Kindly do this one first agenda. Mm. Mm. Do first uh, the ban the export of the uh, cows, the uh, meat and everything. Excellent. Then show me. True. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can say I compliment yes. him for this. Yes, yeah, I, this is my... Uh, Sir, I also congratulate story. you for that. Because, <laughs> no, no, this, because if it is the uh, export is banned, yeah. then it's all. And also you kindly think, there are different types of the cows in yeah. because we can say in Karnataka this Mallad Gidda and uh, the who, uh, this Jawari and the Gir type. This a different area, different. Now everything is vanishing. Twenty eight crores of the cows now come to the seventeen crores, and also you th- you can also th- think not of the aged cows, the small calves, you know. Why they are, their intestine is, they, they have taken for the medical uh, yes, equipment, yes. for the thread, making thread. And it is a tasty for that food also. This is inside, uh, outside expert is entirely different. And I can give you one beautiful example, where I came from the Kurup district. Right. You know the pigs. This, uh, so this uh, what you can say, that is the street pigs are entirely different. In there is a farmhouse fix. Yes. It is meant for only meat. Okay? Yeah. Like that you do that one. Mm-hmm. This deshi tali, what you are mm, taking is a country that uh, the uh, cows are there. Mm-hmm. You don't touch that one. Okay. Otherwise other cows, you, no problem. Yes. That is what they, they have done, uh, doing in the England, uh, Scotland, whatever. Sir, they, they, they will, will the by the, by the, they, understand this? No, no, no. <laughs> why? Why understand? means? What Why means saying? Indian cows? What is this? Jawari is so there. So what you are saying, will the Gaurakshadal understand this? No, no, no. One thing. They will not differentiate. Let, let the BJP government first. For them, cow is a cow. Cow is a cow and even buffalo, if you carry also, this is a problem. Yes. See, in, a, in Akla case, they were not sure whether he had beef in his house. They went and killed him. That's so entirely one life. That's a, and one yes, more thing yes, I want yes, to plead. I, I want to plead one thing. Does it have to be a Muslim who has to uh, raise his voice for a Muslim cause? Can't general masses... No, no, he no, can raise his voice. Yes. Yes. But it's wrong, you should say, I'm no, telling you very straight. Now, the day before yesterday, what happened in Kerala? The Congress for workers has killed one uh, that... Uh, uh, Congress did not acknowledge it. Yes, they have to acknowledge it. We will not acknowledge it. You are, you are, we will reject it. You are, Such uh, taking law into the Rahul hand is not Gandhi, acceptable to us. Rahul yes, Gandhi condemned has condemned it. True. It is he condemned. He will do that one. But yeah. uh, our uh, sympathy is, Hindutva is there and we are uh, making puja to the cow. Uh, 56 crores of the gods are there inside and it is a multi-purpose. We are talking sir, all this. One word Agriculture is depends yeah, upon yeah, the cows. Anybody understands. Sarva yeah. jano sukino bhajan. Yes, everything. Means it's not Hindus to be happy. Sarva jana sukino bhajan. Everybody. Everybody in this universe should be happy. Yes, yes, yes. That is the thought of Hindutva. I am a proud Hindu to respect a Muslim. I am a proud Hindu to respect a Dalit. I am not a Hindu to hate Muslim. 
Right. Hindutva doesn't permit to hate anybody. So there are two kinds of Hindutva which is I don't say that. Every, anybody <laughs> understand <laughs> Hindu? Anybody understand so Hindu? This, you want to be Hindu? You want to be a Muslim? It was a, you accept it, other community yeah, people. It was a wonderful, it was a wonderful uh, panel discussion we have had. I want you to close the discussion with one minute of your thoughts. With respect to this issue, what is the advice you have for the people of this country Both the in general? In general, with respect to slaughtering the cow or in, in, with respect to those who are protecting the cow? In protecting the cow only, I can give the... Uh, I pray this uh, President, uh, Prime Minister of India. First, ban the export. Okay, excellent. First, ban the export. We are with you. <laughs> then, then uh, the, all the problems is going to be solved. Okay, next okay. what to do? Then the... You know that Goshalas are there. Mm -hmm. Now, the, because of the age old, this, just like a old age uh, houses now, it is coming on. Because of the recent uh, farming. Because agriculture, the Indian agriculture depends mm -hmm. upon this uh, cows only. Mm -hmm. And bullocks, whatever they are. Now, the modernization is coming. And they, even the small farmer, they, uh, he does not know how to maintain that cows. Every uh, gram panchayat or the taluk has to go, make a one goshala okay. for the age-old uh, cows. The government has to take in their responsibility. Many, many cows are dying in goshala, sir. That's why. Around I, uh, we don't thousands know. of cows because are being kept in a place where only 200 can be kept. Be because of the maladministration. Yeah. Because uh, it is a capacity of only so 200. So isn't that a crime, sir? It is a crime because of the administration. No, again, there are no, hundreds no, of... No, because of administration, hundreds no, of cows are dying. What happened to the cow which dies? The cows are dying there. No, what happened to that cow which dies? Uh, what happened to that cow which dies? What has to be done, they should tell, no? Because Next level. What has to be done with that cow? See, see. The to capacity bury, is only 100. Mm. If you go and pull... Uh, pull no, what happened to the cow which is it dead? Is, it, is not, it is not correct. Possible. You open another uh, thing. So, again, investment the, is involved, No, sir. no, government. It's a government so, responsibility. The government is not able to give education, sir. No, no, no. I know you're talking about giving place cow shed for cows. Because when, when the farmers are able to have it in their own place, when they are able to protect it and take care of it, why do we have to make artificial cow shed when it is ha naturally happening by the farmers? No, no, it's entirely different. Sir, because where is the money the... for for making many cow sheds when there are no money for education and medical facilities? Sir, sir simple example I can give. Now in Karnataka government, everything is Bhagya is there. All everything is given. The even nice. the persons who uh, in the who was really working in the villages for the, going for coolie or the some work, now he will sit uh, simply because 25 kgs of uh, uh, this uh, rice is coming. Everything, uh, education, bagya, what, whatever, he knows everything. It's, you can make a list. <laughs> Under that uh, only this one also go bagya. You do the uh, uh, goshalas. Okay. Okay, well, is, that we will take your no, statement, sir. No, no, Pashu Bhagya is there. That's no, Pashu Bhagya, that, that's, that's what you story. have to do. Today, we are talking about this agenda is because completion of three years and people expected something good and there's something else came to the market and that's why people are discussing about this. Uh, uh, the go slaughtering matter has been discussed because yes. the great contribution of our Prime Minister giving another the completion of three years. This is where I request as an Indian citizen, I request the Prime Minister, now we bought GST. The Congress government bought GST, but you opposed. Now you agreed. Congress government bought Nirmal uh, Bharat. You, you converted it to Swachh Bharat. We bought Aadhaar. You opposed. Again, you accepted that thing. We bought uh, what is that, Planning Commission. You, you converted it into uh, Niti Aayog. Everything which you opposed, Today you accepted. Hmm. Today Congress has got an idea. But not then the black money he has not brought. Demonetization. Tell you no, that. no, black money from the outside. Let there. me tell you. Uh, Let me tell you. Demonetization is the biggest mockery of this country. Yes. Biggest corruption scam, I'm telling you. They did it saying that there is knuckle notes coming to Kashmir for terrorism. That's why I'm doing main agenda was that. Adjacent to that is the black money. Agreed. In the More than the black money, money. The, to stop the terrorism activities in Kashmir, this was the bottom agenda. Am I right? Yes. But has it stopped? No. Or One week only they had nothing. No, let me. They, it is increased. Rupee not it is increased. Earlier bribes in the bomb, a thousand rupees was given. Now it's easy to give in bribes. It's a progress. You encourage, you, you, you encourage the corruption by doing all these things. No, no, one thousand, two thousand. So you are promoting all these things. What I am telling Mr. Modi Sahib is, you bought GST. Why I am bringing that is, you said a statement called, one, uh, one country, one law, you told. I am also asking you, one country, one human being, one law of education, healthcare, subsidize it completely free. 
all other things it will take care of itself if people are educated with the secular education don't put in education any religious any form of religious thinking in the book syllabuses be away keep religious away from this uh, from the education and give a clean education a secular education equal to everybody subsidize it give equal health care to everybody subsidize nothing else this country ask they can stand on their own don't pollute the country by bringing sentiments blindly because of election agenda the main agenda has come here the kago rakshak is they have already been successful against the congress congress was talking about development they were talking about uh, polarization of hindu votes they have been successful in uttar pradesh and other states that is an agenda which they are giving a fast recovery of their votes which they are trying to put it in the form of uh, go rakshak in the coming elections of gujarat and karnataka right. as a target Excellent. so under, understand this one this will not run for long time, long time. hindus are also very clever people, clever people. i am telling I, i come from a hindu community right. we are watching right we will not accept which is inhuman absolutely which will go against you mr modi ji yeah. please understand look at everybody as indians and we are proud indians with our own religions we have respect for our religions we have respect for our parents we have respect for our, our bharat mata we have no a, a hatred in our hearts then coming to the matter of uh, is 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 i have an advice indian youth should not join this organization True. because you are born for a purpose to lead this world to show what is love and peace in this country with progress and development this should be an agenda i plead and beg with every youngster in this country we middle of which caste creed community they belong to please do not join is is because that is a dangerous virus to against Excellent. humanity Excellent. this is a virus of uh, gorakshak in the country that is a virus all over the world so virus. what i'm trying to say any virus. form any form of virus which disturb <laughs> the peace of a human being yeah. which disturb the peace of this world yeah. it is not acceptable True. because i'm a proud indian i am born under the uh, shadow of mahatma gandhi and we are should be the uh, ambassadors of love and peace to this world that is my request to the entire youngsters in Kar- in india and especially in bangalore and karnataka and coming to in india the south indian part karnataka is famous for secular fabric of this country True. whenever this country had a problem in the secular problems whenever for example indira gandhi lost the seat it she came out from karnataka because the secular leaders have been born and come out from 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 south india south india so let us being a pure kannadiga why is it kannadiga federal system here right. our language when i say i am a kannadiga doesn't mean that i hate marathi or tamil no. all i accept right. but pr- i proud kannadiga because yeah. i am this is a federal yeah, system you should love your as a land. proud kannadiga today be. as a proud indian today yeah. i say let us start loving each other right we can't change our neighbors so love is a let message it, let it be anybody our neighbors right. bangladesh pakistan anybody a peace is a message but at same time our integrity of our country should be taken care we should stand with us for the soldiers of this country and we should protect the every interest of every uh, sentiments of this country Excellent. as a peace and love Excellent. without compromising with wonderful humanity. sir wonderful sir and we are going to close this program with uh, with some thoughts that i want to do, share uh, for muslims especially eating the beef is not an obligation in our religion we can live without so, having beef also we can have that is really left to them that is left to them we cannot compare we can, we can live as vegetarians we can our religion does not enforce no that our, should be no, their choice no, don't, the point, the don't point impose here, on them the point here is as far as muslims are concerned it is not an obligation if at any instance if the law of the land bans let us accept it and let us look into whatever is possible legally let us not take law in our hands and i was also listening to some of the members of our elders when our discussion they were saying in case if you are really particular to give cow as a, or a, a, you know as a oxen as a sacrifice in the bakrid time if india is not possible for you to you give it elsewhere today is a global world wherein you can mm-hmm. you can you know you can pay it online and you can make that meat treat some other country where it is acceptable if it is something if you are very particular but there is no any such thing as you have to give the oxen as sacrifice you have to give according to your our religious values whatever we have to do we have to do second thing that i want to talk about is isis is isis do not represent islam and it does not represent the muslim community across the world they are extremists and they are to be considered as outcasts of our community why i'm saying this so vehemently because the quran condemns in the 
chapter number 5 verse number 32 man qatala nafsan bi ghairi nafsin aw fasadin fil ardi faka annama qatala an-nas jamia whosoever kills one human be it muslim or non muslim it is as though killing the entire humanity yes and that is yes. what the quran says and man qatala mu'ahidan lam yarih rahiyat al-jannah the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said whosoever kills a non muslim mu'ahid with whom we are having a peace treaty or peace relationship he will not even smell the paradise so if a person thinks that it is something of a command from god almighty and he goes and kills some innocent who is from the children of adam alayhi salam is yes. everybody we are all children of adam alayhi salam of one common parent we are all we may have difference in thoughts and ideologies but we respect each other because god almighty honors every child of adam alayhi salam in chapter number 17 of the quran in verse number 70 god almighty says wala qad karramna bani adama we have honored the children of adam alayhi salam that's why allah sends rain for everyone he doesn't send rain only for the muslims he doesn't send sunlight only for the muslims he sends rain for everybody because everybody is honored in the sight of god almighty so this is what and another request to the gaur rakshadal i would say please try to abide by the law of the land which includes even for you and in case if you think that something is going wrong wherein the rights of animals are not given please go and inform to the Concern. legal bodies let them take action legally we are totally if you are following the law of the land and you are keeping up to the rules and regulations we have nothing to crib over but if you take law in the in the hand and you start attacking anybody irrespective of which community they come from then that becomes a problem for the entire peace so this is what we have to say i hope peace prevails thank you thank you one and all thank you sir thank you so much